Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another Johnny Lightning diecast review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Pro Collector Storage 10 Release 3 from 2020. These are the 1970 Plymouth AAR CUDA in Moulin Rouge and Vitamin C. Now, I found these at my local Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has old stock and are getting new stock in, but I had to pick these up because I like this particular Johnny Lightning casting. As I mentioned, these are versions A and version B. We'll take a closer look at version A first. Of course, we got the car in vitamin C. Got the paint information right there. Your standard uh, Johnny Lightning card back. So this feature an all die cast metal body and chassis, collectible metal storage tin, CUDA logo. Got the car and got the storage tin right there. Here are all the other little information features you need to know here's the other three releases in the set and actually if I'm st not mistaken I picked this up at Target thinking Hobby Lobby but no it was Target now that Target and Walmart are starting to carry round two brand so so a little collector fact about this one this is got 2724 units of the 70 Plymouth AR CUDA were built to meet the SCCA manufacturer requirements and then version B's collector fact is that Dan Gurney and Swede Savage drove the 70 Plymouth Cuda racers to the SCCA Trans Am racing circuit so that is the cards what I'm going to do is pause the video open them up when we get back we'll take a closer look at each one stay tuned be right back all right, got the cars out of their packaging. First off, let's take a look, quickly take a look at the storage tins. Does have a render of the car. This is number two in the series of three, or release. You know, there's three in the set, so we got that. That got the seventy Plymouth Air Cuda there, Johnny Lightning on either end, and it just slides open, featuring the Cuda AR logo in there, and you can store the car in it. It's the same for both except for one's being orange, one's purple. So we'll start off with version A. Looks absolutely amazing. Go and zoom in here a little bit for you. We do have the AAR CUDA logo right there on the quarter panel. It does have painted details for your headlights, details for your grill. Got hood pin detail up here on the hood. The, the hood scoop looks great. See if we can get the hood open. This might be a no hood opening review. I don't think that one's going to open, so we're not even going to force it. Got the indicators on the side there. Got the correct uh, tire Goodyear tires that look phenomenal. We do have molded inside mirrors. No, you know, detailing on them. We do have the wood grain steering wheel, white uh, bucket seats. Got the black spoiler on the back. Silver painted details for your door handle and the exhaust down here on the bottom, right in front of the rear tires. Silver trim around the windows look greatly detailed. Back here on the back, we have painted details for your taillights. Really nice detail there on your license plate as well. There's full back of the car. Right side, you already seen, more or less the same. Back of the car, here you go, or bottom of the car, excuse me. There's your production date code of August 26, 2020. This is a Plain Mantis copyrighted 1998 tooling. Tooling number, Plain Mantis 2, is that 22G or 226? I believe it's 22G. So yeah, it's a great car. We'll take a closer look now at the uh, Moulin Rouge cars, personally my favorite. Everything is the same for deco and interior. Same steering wheel, but we got a black interior. License plate even might be a little different. Let's take a closer look at that. Yeah, license plates are the same, but different color writing on them. But other than that, you can see the Painted details for your taillights are the same. The trim around the windows are the exact same details. 
headlights, same painted detail, see if we can get this hood open. I don't know how it's going to work, but I don't think we're going to get the hoods open on these two models tonight. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but the copyright, all the details on the bottom of the base should be the same. we got the traditional or old school Johnny Lightning wide tires on this release. And again, there's your side detail. Everything about the car is the same except for the color and the writing on the tail light or the uh, license plate are yellow instead of white. So yeah, that is my review of version A and version B of Johnny Lightning Pro Collector 10 Release 3 from 2020, the 1970 Plymouth AAR CUDA. Now, if you'd like to find this online, you can just check out your favorite online hobby dealer or take a look at your local Target store because they're popping up there. So yeah, that's where you can find them. If you enjoyed this review, get a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week. So be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrain69. See you next time for an all-new DieCast review. Bye.